Hey everybody, it's Dan, your friendly fishmonger from dancefish.com and today I want to really briefly just kind of talk about heat packs and how to properly use them so they function properly in the box that you're sending your fish in. So come on over here with me. I'm in the middle of applying heat packs to some boxes that I'm getting ready to send out and here's kind of the method that I use. Um, so here's my bag of tricks. We've got the lid to the box that I'm going to be attaching the heat pack to. Brown paper lunch bag. And this is a heat pack. You know, your typical UniHeat 72 hour pack. And this has been sitting out for about 20 minutes. So it's, it's nice and toasty. You know, if you're, ah. Uh, and when you set these out, one thing to be aware of is this pink stripe has to be exposed to oxygen. So you don't put it on the table like this, right? That would cut off oxygen flow and the heat pack won't function properly. So when you're waiting for it to burn, put the stripe up. And I like to shake them pretty good when I first open them, set them down for about 20 minutes or so, and then come back and feel them and make sure they've caught. Every now and then I'll find a dud. Something happened in manufacturing where the heat pack just won't fire right. And I would hate to put that in a box and send fishies out in the cold winter weather and have you get some fish sickles in the mail instead of nice healthy fish, right? So pay attention to that when you're, uh, if you're shipping fish and using heat packs, make sure they actually fire before you use them. It doesn't take that long. All right. The other thing, one of the reasons I want to do this is I'll often, this video, is I'll often receive a heat pack like this, okay? It's, it's like this, and the problem is the person will just take this heat pack, take tape, and go whoop, right across the middle of it. Oops, I didn't show that very well. Go right across the middle. You don't want tape over this top surface here. You want this exposed to oxygen. Sometimes they'll go this way. Whoop right across this way either way you don't want to dampen this surface you want as much of this exposed to oxygen as possible if you go this way with the tape then you're cutting off a lot of this oxygen exchange and if you go this way you're cutting off pretty nigh near all of it right okay and the other thing is don't just throw them in the box. They'll, if you put them in the box without attaching them to some kind of surface, the heat pack will fall down among the fish bags in the box and they will do one of two things. They will either cozy up to a, a small bag of fish and heat that bag too much so they overheat or they'll get smashed down somewhere where this heat exchange surface, this oxygen exchange surface I should say, to power the heat reaction is cut off, like it'll fall down onto the styrofoam or it'll fall between bags and get sandwiched in there. So it'll either get too hot and cook your fish or too cold and freeze your fish. So you have to attach it to something. Now, the reason for this brown paper bag and, and the reason I, I use that on, on these, you can use newspaper too and I've done that for a long time. This is just a lot easier and quicker um, and more efficient. The reason I use this to cover the heat pack is because the tape does not stick well to this. This material that the heat packs are made out of, just is, it's not very, the adhesive on the tape doesn't work well with it. So it's really easy just to open a sandwich bag, slide this in, right? And something to note is that the oxygen exchange, the pink stripe of that heat pack is on this side. It's only going through one layer of paper. It's not on this side where it would have to go through a few layers of paper. That might be okay, but I don't want to take the risk. So it's facing this way, so it's going through one layer of paper, so there's not so much preventing the oxygen from exchanging that this will get cold. And then I just really quickly go like this. Bam, I'm done. I've got a little packet here. Take that. Let's make sure you all can see this. And then tape along the edges, not over the center, not across the center, but along the edges of this. On both sides. And really important, 
when I tape this is I'm wrapping the tape all yeah sorry I'm wrapping the tape all the way around so it's back on itself the tape doesn't adhere to the styrofoam enough if all I did was take a strip of tape and put it here this would fall off I have to put enough tape on that it goes all the way around and locks back on itself so it adheres to the tape, the tape onto the tape in a loop, rather than the tape just adhering to the styrofoam in the back. The tape does not adhere well to styrofoam at all. So I'm going all the way, so if you notice I'm going all the way around, back on the tape, there. Now that's, that's super secure. That is not gonna fall off. Like at all, there, you couldn't. Not in a box, all packed up, right? So that's the proper way to do a heat pack. Um, just the main thing to keep in mind is you have it stuck to something securely, so it's not going to fall off, overheat, or freeze your fish. It's nice to have some paper on it because then, if this is up against, say, there's bags in the box and they're they're touching this. This paper here will create some barrier that's porous between the heat pack and the bag, so oxygen exchange will still happen. Um, it might slow down a bit, but it'll still happen. And the other thing is that the pink stripe is in the right position, so there's oxygen exchange. So secure and oxygen exchange are the two things you have to somehow make happen with the heat pack. This is how I do it. There's other ways to do it, I'm sure, but I just wanted to show you um, how I do it and why I do it. And the reason is, is I buy a lot of fish and I'm constantly amazed at how many heat packs I get that are just tossed in the box or that are upside down so that the oxygen is not exchanging or <laughs> the list goes or tape over the pink stripe so the oxygen is not exchanging all kinds of problems and it's getting cold so i thought this might be helpful as we go into the cold weather all right i hope you like that if you did um like subscribe sub hit notification bells all that stuff we're always glad to have more people join the channel and for all you that have been here a while thanks for watching everybody until next time have a good one bye bye